The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. The following session has already been informed. We Comme are going to hear testimony of TCW 338, not 366, as I uh, stated, uh, it was a mistake. And I wish to correct it now. Court officer is now instructed to bring in TCW 338. Présenté ici au prétoire le témoin TCW 338. The President. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Le Président. We Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. know that you have already been briefed on how to use the microphone. However, allow us to remind you that before you respond to any questions, wait until you see the red light uh, is activated on the mic, otherwise your message will not be properly conveyed through rendition and cannot be properly recorded. So after each question, you should observe a pause. Wait until you see that red light Donc, before you proceed to respond to any questions. Avant de répondre et attendre du Mr. Witness, Monsieur le what témoin. is your name? Could you please tell your name in full to the chamber? Veuillez décliner votre identité ici devant la chambre. Response. I am Gum Von alias Chaum. Von alias Chaum. The President. Thank you. Le président, How old are merci. you? Et quel âge avez -vous? Response. I am 53 years old. Réponse, 53 ans. Question. Where do you live? Question. Où habitez-vous? Response, Mr. President, Réponse. I live in Pahi Tbong, Pailin District. Pailin. Question, what do you do for a living? Question, quel est votre métier? Response, I am a government employee. Réponse working at the Department of Telecommunication and Post. Question, what is your father's name? Question, what is the name of your father? Response, he was deceased. His name was Peck. Question: Does he uh, did he have a family name? 
question portait-il un nom de famille The president, uh, could you please hold on, wait until you see the red light Et before you proceed to respond to us. Otherwise, your message will be lost. The president, please uh, tell the court your father's first name. Nous dire le nom de famille de response. Votre père. My father was Gumbay. Question: Gumbet. What is your mother's name? Question: Et votre mère comment s'appelait elle? Response: She was Tu Stang. Elle now deceased. Tuk elle est décédée. Question: What Question. is your wife's name? Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Question: I am asking about your current wife's name. Respond. She is Mir Samnien. Question. How many children Question. do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. I have Réponse. only a daughter with her. J'ai une fille unique avec ma femme. <coughs> The president. Thank you. Le président. How far did you go to school? Merci. Did you learn how to read and write Khmer? Quel est votre niveau d'instruction? Avez-vous appris à écrire et à lire le Khmer? Response. When Réponse. I was young, during the former regime, I did not Dans go jeunesse, to school uh, to very far. I was uh, at uh, seventh grade only. Uh, simplement, uh... Question. Do you Pendant read and write euh, Khmer these days? Question. Aujourd'hui, savez-vous lire et écrire le Khmer? Response. Yes, I do, Mr. President. Réponse. Oui, Monsieur le Président. The President. Thank you. Le Président. Mr. Kumbun, according to the report Kimbun, by the greffier of the trial chamber, and according to your best capacity and knowledge, uh, you have no relationship with any individual uh, of the civil parties being admitted uh, in case file 002, uh, and you are not related to any of the accused persons. Including Mr. Nunchia, Kyusun Pon, and Ying Sari. Is that correct? Response Yes, it is, Your Honours. The President. According to the Greffier's report, uh, you had already taken an oath. The oath was taken on the 15th of August 2000. And 12, is that correct? C'est exact. Response, yes, it is. Réponse, oui. The President, I will proceed to Le inform président. you of your rights as a witness before the chamber. As the witness before the chamber, Mr. Kumbun, you can refuse to respond or make any statement that are self-incriminating. You enjoy the right not to self-incriminate. At the same time, you are obliged as a witness to give testimony before this chamber by responding to all the questions posed to you by parties and the chamber, que les et que la chambre vous except the statement or responses that are incriminating. In that case, you can refuse to do so. And as the witness, you are obliged to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. Vous avez de the dire truth la based on your recollection of the events you saw, you witnessed during that vous time. Do you understand these duties and obligations? Ces
response. Yes, I do, Mr. President. Oui. The President. Thank you, Mr. Kumun. Have you Merci, ever Kumbun. given interviews to the investigators from the Office of Co-Investigating Judges during des les the last des few years before you années. appear before Avant this chamber? And if so, how many interviews did you give to them and where were they conducted? Response, I had given three interviews. Réponse. However, there were trois. only two official documents rec uh, rec recording these two interviews. Faisant état de ces entretiens. The President, do you still recollect where was the interview conducted? and on which date vous souvenez-vous où et quand ces entretiens ont eu lieu response mr president i'm afraid i don't remember the exact date and place but i remember that i had exact. three interviews Mais je me souviens qu'il y en a eu trois question uh, could you uh, say wh where was the in were the interviews conducted et pouvez-vous me dire où ils ont eu lieu response i gave the interview at my office, the office of telecommunication of the province. De, the president, de you said you le gave président. three interviews, but then only reprises, two records of the interviews uh, were kept formally. What happened to que this? Passé? Response. On the third occasion, Réponse. I was attending a workshop la on fois, planning and development. Je un and sur la planification et le the, the investigators could not et wait for me, and they had to come back uh, to do or to perform uh, other tasks instead. Et ils ont dû the president. Autre chose. Thank you. Le président. Before Merci. you appear before this chamber. Had you have an opportunity to read uh, the interviews, the records Avant of the interviews you gave on two occasions uh, before the co investigating uh, before the investigators? Response Yes, I had, Mr. President, briefly. Je les ai parcourus. The President, according to Le your président. best recollection, can you tell the court whether your reading of the record of your interviews si reflect your statements given to the investigators previously? De ce que vous avez dit Response. Réponse. Mr. President, Yes, uh, the statements oui. are consistent. The President, thank you. The Chamber wishes to inform the co-prosecution yes. that uh, the prosecution will be given the floor to pose questions to the witness. And at the same time, the Chamber wishes to also inform parties that the co-prosecutors will have Disposeront. A quarter of the full day session for each party. So each party que des aura will un quart de have uh, this time to put questions to the witness. They may make the most of their time to select Elle only peut, the most potentially important questions les questions les plus to be posed to the witness. Now, the prosecution, you may now proceed. Mr. Wayne Hart. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Good morning, Your Honours. 
and Bonjour. good morning my learned colleagues Bonjour. and everyone in this courtroom. Bonjour à tous. Good morning à to you, Mr. Kim Won. I am Monsieur from Kim the Office Wun. of Co-Prosecutors. Co I will have some questions concerning the printing house. À de However, if my questions are believed to be difficult to understand, si please do not hesitate to ask prie, me for clarification me or ask me to repeat the questions. Pas me de Without further ado, I would like now to ask you a few questions concerning your statements before the co-investigators. You stated that in February 1971, you joined uh, work at the front printing house in Santuk district along the Chinit River. It was Pol Pot's base, and people who managed Pot, the office were by the person by the name Pang. Pang this document can be found under document 0035-71197 in Khmer, English 0036-56-4-3. And ERNs in French 0048-54-29. With regard to your statement, I have a few questions as follows. First, why did you go and work at the central printing house, not elsewhere? Pourquoi êtes-vous allez-vous aller travailler à l'imprimerie centrale et pas ailleurs? Response. At that time, during the Funk regime, à l'époque, the leadership of the district le and the central fun. level came to the base and le leadership I had base. some friends and des the amis. elder brothers Parmi who convinced me to leave the village to work for the district I worked at that time in the village uh, in the village uh, for the nationalist youth group. And I had no choice. There, I had only a mother. And I could not decide to leave her behind. Et However, elder brothers from the center and from the district uh, kept coming to persuade me to join the group. And finally, I was convinced oh. that I could work at the central office uh, and be allowed to come back to visit my village. And I also was thinking Je that if I had to work at the village, district, enfin, I had au, to au work district, in the military. Village, si district, so, at that time, militaire. I was an orphan. orphelin. Mr. Wing Horn. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I would like now to ask you another Merci, question. Did you acquire printing skill before you got the job? Response. No, I didn't. However, I could write my Nicely, and I could uh, perform office tasks. Question How old were Question. you at that time? Quel âge aviez-vous à l'époque? 
Mr. President, uh, witness, Minister. could you please be reminded again, your message was lost because you were responding when the mic was not activated. Mr. Wayne Hort, uh, I would Mr. like Wayne to proceed uh, to repeat the question. You said uh, you had no choice to work at the but to work at the printing house. How old were you when you worked there? À l'imprimerie. Mais quel âge aviez-vous quand vous avez travaillé là? Response. Réponse. I was more than ten years old. J'avais plus de dix ans. Question. In your statement. Through the investigators, Question. you indicated that you were 12 at that time. My next question. Were only young people as young as 12 like you recruited to work Et at the printing question house? question was to ask if the other people who were recruited to work at the printing house were only young people of 12 like you? Were there only young people of 12 like you? Mr. Wing, what, uh, Mr. Witness, could you please uh, be reminded that Veuillez wait until you see the red light? De voir la rouge de votre micro, Response. Pour During that regime, a lot of young people, as young as Je I was, euh, euh, réponse, were asked aussi jeunes que moi, to join the work. Se sont vus and some de... of my relatives. Uh, who were children were also introduced uh, to the certain members of my family who were before me. Uh, on Question. Se sont vu attribuer des tâches avant moi. Including yourself, other children were recruited Question. to work at the printing Donc, house. Vous -même, Could you tell us your first impression when you started work at the printing house? Quelles vos premières impressions quand vous avez commencé à travailler à l'imprimerie? Response. There was no quiet impression anyway because the work was assigned. I was appointed uh, to the task, and if uh, anyone was appointed, then one had to work um, effectively as being ordered to do so. Question. With regard to the printing house, you said it was located in Santok district on the Chinat River. How far was the printing house from the place where Pol Pot was staying? Response. Réponse. The printing house uh, was a La few kilometers from uh, his place. It was in the jungle. Là où il était. C'était dans la jungle. Question. Question. When you started working at the printing house, à à how long was that before you met with Pang? Combien de temps s'est écoulé avant que vous rencontriez Pang? I had Réponse. to stay at office T40 at Bang Lawir. And I had to Bang cross Chinat River to Kilo number three. Uh, la, le, to le fleuve Chinat au kilomètre numéro trois. Low sixty four where I à, uh, stayed there. Question. My question was about meeting uh, with Pang. Ma question when did Pang, you meet him? Or was Pang in charge of uh, the printing Pang house? Response. Réponse. First, I didn't meet him. Je ne pas but later on, learned that Mais the office tard, was under Pang's supervision. Ce bureau était sous sa supervision. Question. Question. What was your actual skill? Quelles étaient vos or compétences? Expertise. Quelle était votre spécialité? Question. Uh, response. Réponse. I was. 
good at writing, and I was assigned to write on pieces Donc, of paper. So I was asked to practice writing. I was asked to practice writing on a daily basis. Question. Question. Do you still recollect uh, what kind of writing was that? Can you tell us the content of the writing? De ce que vous écriviez, pouvez-vous nous parler un peu de response? I learned to write on the pieces of paper we used pen and then there would be a few pages uh, underneath so that we could uh, write on the first page and then uh, the message could be copied into the beneath pages before it could be printed. Question. Do you remember the content vous du of the de writing? De What was it about? Just give us some examples. Response. First, uh, we made uh, a small booklet. And the booklet was about Kaunyal. À propos de Kao Niel. Question. I think uh, I missed uh, that statement. Could you say Donc again je, je what the book was about? J'ai raté ce que vous avez dit. Pouvez-vous nous répéter votre le, le, le cahier en question, le dépliant? Le Response. The booklet that I practiced uh, writing on euh, was le about. Le cahier sur lequel je me suis exercé. Yeah, I was asked uh, to write on a piece of paper Donc, so that it could be copied into at least three other copies. And then we made uh, a booklet uh, uh, with that text about a person by the brochure. name of Kao Nyel, the former du nom de um, Kao resistance Niel. activist. Un activiste, euh, enfin, un militant de la résistance. Question. In that printing house, Question. you said uh, at the later that you met vous, with Pang. How many people were there Combien de at the printing house? Là? I mean, the young people like yourself. The comme president, vous. Uh, Mr. Witness, could Le you président. please be reminded Monsieur again Témoin. that the mic Nous has to be activated before you proceed to respond? Otherwise, you will never be heard. Sinon, on ne vous entend pas. Respond, uh, or rather, question. I would like to question. Uh, repeat the question. La you stated earlier on that Pang was the Pang person in charge person of the printing, the printing house. house. Now, my question is, how many people Alors, were recruited to work at the printing house? And how many young people or children as young as yourself all si together in that place. Response. In the Réponse. outset, uh, there were only two Donc, children, a uh, young people, uh, I myself, bon. and uh, another person Et by the name Ol. And then we had other people from Krache province Kratche and the brothers. Et At the frères. beginning, there were only four people début, il que to personnes. start the printing house. Il avait que quatre personnes pour démarrer cet après-midi. Question. Question. I would like uh, to know from you. J'aimerais savoir de votre part. What kind of documents 
were being printed at the printing house. Quel type de document Response. était produit dans cette imprimerie? There were some documents Réponse. I saw being printed there, as I already indicated, uh, documents that we were assigned to write about. There were other documents, documents also relevant to the front enfin, affairs, news to be sent to the nouvelles radio station were also radio. Uh, printed there. On and we also imprimé. had the telegram where, uh, uh, by which uh, telegrams could be sent to brothers of the north, for Question. Question. Had you ever seen revolutionary flags magazine or use flag magazines uh, printed at the place? Vu que l'on imprimait des exemplaires de tendards révolutionnaires ou de jeunesse révolutionnaire à l'imprimerie. Only front related documents Dans cette were ever seuls printed. les documents qui portaient sur le front étaient imprimés. Question. Do you Question. recollect information relevant to the work of the front? If you do, please tell us briefly. Response. The affairs of the Réponse. front included news, news from the battlefield, euh, statements by the leadership, des in French or in Latin, leader, en and also the telegrams. Latin. But uh, I was attached to the printing house, so I was tasked with writing only. Moi, j'étais attaché à l'imprimerie, et ma seule tâche était d'écrire. Uh, Question. I also would like uh, to know. Question whether those documents uh, were typed or handwritten before they were printed. J'aimerais savoir si euh, ces documents étaient dactylographiés ou étaient-ils écrits à la main avant d'être imprimés. Uh, at the time were à mostly uh, les handwritten and then they were copied through a uh, bound puis paper and then they were sent for printing. Question. Did you ever review the content of those documents? Have you ever reviewed the document? Response. Yes, I did. I reviewed the content Réponse. and tried to comprehend oui. it before I could uh, write. Mr. Wainhood, Mr. President, with your leave, I would like to have one document uh, display on the screen. And document E3 slash 37. E3 slash 637. French or uh, Khmer E or N zero zero four four two three three two English E or N zero zero seven four zero nine three eight French et en français zero zero seven five two one seven four vingt et un soixante quatorze Kim Som An Chun Sa Sai Tam Dong I would like uh, to read it out uh, for the witness, and if he understands uh, the 
content of these documents, then I will put the question. Si il comprend le contenu de ce document, je Bravo. voudrais ensuite lui the brave people and Cambodian people's la, liberation la armed forces throughout the country. Le courage du peuple cambodgien This is a, a quotation. De la libération et la f et de ces the second quotation quotes, dans le pays. Bravo, citation, great victories to bravo, our people and the Cambodian people's liberation armed forces in every battlefield. You said uh, just now that uh, you reviewed the content and you normally read the content of the documents. Uh, uh, did you read all the contents of the documents sent for uh, printing at the printing house? Tous les documents envoyés à l'imprimerie pour y être imprimés. The President, Mr. Kim Woon, can you respond to that question? Monsieur Kim Woon, êtes -vous en mesure if de répondre à cette you question? are not able to respond to this question because you cannot si recollect it, then you can ask the prosecutor again so that he may repeat the question or he can move on to the next question. So, so Witness. Mr. President, can the prosecutor be directed to repeat the question? Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Kim Won. I am trying to read out portion of this document. In the content of this document, the word bravo the brave people and Cambodian people's liberation armed forces throughout the country. And bravo, great victories to our people and the Cambodian people's liberation armed forces in every battlefield. Did you ever hear uh, these slogans and were they ever printed in the printing house where you worked? Response, I do not recall this. Do you, do you not recall um, the printing of these uh, slogans, or did you not recall these slogans at all? De l'impression de ces slogans Pe ou vous ne vous souvenez pas des slogans eux-mêmes These two Réponse. slogans were quite common at that period of time. Thank you. I am going to read uh, another portion of the document, E3-6-3-7. Uh, I just would like to ask whether or not you recall that these uh, phrases or content were printed at that time. In Khmer, E0-0-4-4-2-3-2-8. English, 0 0 Seven four zero nine three three French zero zero seven five two one twenty one seven zero I would like to read it as follow. Who nous lisons donc Les phrases qui suivent. Uh, and three Khmer, they was arrested and uh, as the uh, war prisoners.
Rather, the two battalions of Black Eagles and Chandrang Seas, along with many of the enemy's reinforcements quads, have had been smashed, injured, killed, and deserted and been made prisoners of war. According to an interim report, some 1,550 heads of the enemy's military personnel and officers, including hundreds of colonels, captains, lieutenants, and major lieutenants have been smashed, while 10,000 people have been uh, liberated. And uh, Cambodian People's Liberation Armed Forces have been attacked by Ensuite, les forces armées de uh, six men size uh, six main size have been liberated and 1200 heads of enemies armed forces personnel were smashed killed and journey deserted do you still recall these statements response in fact, at that time, we broadcast uh, this common uh, statement in both the radio and also printed it in magazines. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Kumbun. I move on. So, following the publication of the documents, did they distribute those documents? Diffuser ces documents. The documents were distributed to the base, particularly to les the liberated ont été zones. Distribués dans les bases, notamment dans les zones libérées. Look, John, jam de. Do you still recall who came to collect the documents for further distribution to the liberated zones? The books uh, published from the printing house were um, distributed through messengers to the liberated zone at the base. Uh, did you ever participate in the distribution or the dissemination of uh, those documents? Generally, during the um, period, the tasks were clearly divided. Uh, those uh, people had to mind their own business. And if it was not my task, I uh, was not supposed to distribute any document. My task was at the printing house. I did not do anything else. Question. Because why were you not authorized to distribute this document? Pourquoi was it because the document has uh, had any confidential nature? Respond. As a matter of fact, uh, I was working with the printing house and en fait, I was not supposed to go outside of the printing house. It was the duty and job of the uh, messengers to distribute those documents. De Question. Question. You said you could not walk out of the um, printing house premise. Were, what was your impression? Uh, was your freedom of movement limited at the time? Uh, response. Uh, in general, um, we had to maintain uh, our job in utmost uh, circuitry, otherwise we would be targeted and maybe uh, bombarded from aerial um, uh, attack. So we had to maintain uh, circuitry. If they single out any location, then we would uh, be uh, si 
air raid. So we could not go out freely at that time. Question. Who told you that this task was to be kept confidential and who um, warned you not to leave your working premise? The officer in charge, as I told you earlier on, there were only four members, but later on, more people came uh, to join us. And after that, it was the directors who supervised the place uh, gave me the instruction and advice not to leave the place. Question. I now move on to the next question relating to Je your practical work. Votre In your capacity as a young man, how many days per week were you supposed to work, and how many hours per day were you allowed to take rest? In war time, we had to uh, divide our work clearly. Regardless of our age, we had to help each other. We had to do whatever tasks we could do. For example, we could prepare food for each other or carry waters. And other than that, we had to help each other. Uh, for example, at that time, we lived in the forest. Uh, we had to um, remind each other of the health concern, the infection, or uh, th we had to um, we had to ensure that we live in a hygiene place. We had to have a toilet properly, and otherwise we would be affected by many diseases. We had to have mosquito nets and hammocks, and particularly we had to be vigilant in all time of the air raid. And as for the task, uh, we uh, had different work shift. Uh, we had to divide it in terms, but whenever we had to do it on an on, on offensive basis, we did not have to mind each other's work. We had to do uh, it all the time without thinking of uh, uh, the working hours per day or so at all. Question. So I would like to expand on this. You said uh, you had a lot of things to do, and you were still very young at that time. Did you ever meet the leaders of the front? And if you did, uh, who did you meet? The leaders whom I knew as the leader was Chem. Celui que je savais être un dirigeant était Chem. Question. I cannot really catch your answer. Can you please repeat your answer? Uh, who were the leaders? Uh, of the front. Did you know their uh, official names or their revolutionary names? At that time, I was very young. I only knew Brother Haim, who visited uh, that place once in a while. And then later on, I learned that uh, Brother Haim was actually Mr. Kyu Sampon. Will I look? 
when you met uh, Brother Haim, which was the revolutionary name, um, where did you meet him? And in that circumstance, uh, what did you do and what did he have to do at that time? So my question really is, uh, where did you meet him and why did he go there? En fait, ce que je veux savoir, c'est où l'avez-vous rencontré Response. et pourquoi était-il là At that time, Réponse. Brother Haim went to the printing house. Le Sometimes Haim he simply uh, came to say uh, hello, parfois, and at other times he came uh, and brought along with him some uh, food stuff moments, uh, to provide to people working at the printing house in order to encourage them, motivate them to uh, continue to struggle. Thank you, says Mr. <laughs> Wayne Hood. Mr. President, uh, that is all for me. I would like to now hand over to my esteemed colleague. Thank you. Je voudrais céder la parole à mon cher confrère. Merci. Mr. President, Your Honours, can I um, formally introduce myself. My name is Keith Rayner and I'm a barrister from England. Mr. Kim Vaughan, I'd like to take up, please, on some of the questions that you've been asked and to ask some clarification questions. And the first is to do with statements by the leadership. Now, you've just said in court a few minutes ago that the affairs of the front included news from the battlefields and statements by the leadership in French and also telegrams. So how often when you were employed at this printing house after 1971, did statements from the leadership come to the printing house? As a matter of fact, Réponse. at that time, there were a lot of uh, en fait, documents. À cette époque, and normally, the leaders never uh, came to the printing house themselves. More often than not, the messengers carried La those documents to the printing house. Did you stay at this printing house from 1971 through to 1975 at the same place or not? Well, actually, um, we had to um, change uh, several places. In, to my recollection, we changed en fait, the place three times. The first one being a long tribury. And then the second place was uh, Office 24. And then later on, it was moved to B20, and following 1975, it was moved to somewhere um, adjacent to the Olympic Stadium. Just so that I have it correctly, it's right then 
that you stayed in the job <laughs> associated with printing right from 1971 through to 1975 when you were working near the Olympic Stadium. Is that correct? Vous avez travaillé proche du stade olympique. Est-ce exact? Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. In this period, from 1971 to 1975, who decided what was going to be published? Qui publié? The detailed work of as such, I did not know. But normally, we receive the documents from messengers. Rarely did the leaders bring along with them documents. Most of the time, those documents were delivered to us by messengers. You've also mentioned that there was news that went to the radio station. Now, where was the radio station in relation to the printing house? The ra radio station of the Funk was based La in China. Radio du Funk était basée en Chine. Because at that time, we could send news articles Parce que and we telegram it for a broadcast. And in 1973, 74, and telegram. 75, there were, uh, they established a radio station in B20. It was close to the printing house. You mentioned that ultimately, or certainly at some stage, the printing house was located at B20. What was the geographic location of B20? Où se trouvait B20, justement? Bon, on paye. To my knowledge, B20 Réponse. was located in Stung Trang district, in the jungle as well as the rubber plantation. Uh, it, the the land over there was uh, fertile. I'd like to deal with the following question in this way. You mentioned, and we'll come to this later, that you entered Phnom Penh in April 1975. I want you to use April 1975 as a marker. Now, how long before April 1975, were you first at B20? Avant avril 1975, when you were going to B20 for the first time? And how long did you wait? When, um, uh, soon before the liberation of Phnom Penh, I was with uh, B20. Uh, 20. And at that time, uh, our team at the printing house was not moved to Phnom Penh yet. Uh, they moved uh, those who work in the radio station first. And sometime bef on the 20th or so, I um, went to Phnom Penh. We travel along the way Penh. through Prek Dam and Prekhet uh, Omelier uh, Hospital, and then we got to Phnom Penh. Uh, we had to uh, take uh, the boat 
at that time to reach Phnom Penh because the roads were cut uh, by um, uh, cut in different places, so we had to take uh, by waterway to reach Phnom Penh. Help me then, please, either in days, weeks, or months, how long were you personally located at B20 at Stung Trong? Response. I do not recollect how long I had to remain there, but I had been there for at least 10 years. Yeah. Says the witness. The English translation of that was that you'd been at B20 for 10 years. Is that what you meant? Response. No, I think uh, no. that uh, was not correct uh, because the war took place for no longer than five years. I could have never been there more than that. So I could be in between these five years period that I was at that location, but I don't recollect exactly how long I was there. Whatever the length of the period was that you were at B20, was the printing house effective producing documents for the whole of that period? Response. Réponse. I had remained in the printing house even though the location was je relocated time and again je, je and I still worked si cette at the printing house even when in Phnom Penh and I même à helped uh, them write uh, headings of the articles, or I helped with articles. other publishing tasks by helping with the cover of the printed materials and also the pictures for the magazines. However, I was more involved in writing rather than in technical en fait, aspect of the publishing. I later be, uh, worked uh, in the newspaper section and I also helped produce the magazine, picture magazines. The President, uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, and thank you, Mr. Witness. It is now appropriate time for lunch adjournment. The court will adjourn during this period, and the next session will be resumed by 1.30 p.m. Court officer is now instructed to assist Mr. Witness during the adjournment and have him return to the courtroom by 1.30. Counsel for Mr. Nunchir, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, our client would like to follow this afternoon's proceedings from his holding cell. He is suffering from a headache, back pain, and a general lack of concentration, and we have prepared the waiver. Nous avons préparé le document idoine. Le président. The President, the Chamber has noted the request by Mr. Nguyen Chiu through his counsel, in which he has requested that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from downstairs for the remainder of the day due to his health concerns. Difficultés de concentration that he could not remain seated in this courtroom for a long period of time. In light of that, the Chamber therefore grants such request.
la chambre fait droit Through à nous. That, uh, Mr. Nunchi is now Et allowed to observe the proceedings Nunchi from, from les débats his holding cell la cellule and he has expressly waived his right to participate directly in the courtroom. A renoncé plutôt expressément à son droit de participer directement à l'audience. La défense doit renaître immédiatement par la chambre le document par lequel Nunchir a renoncé à son droit, qui, sur lequel doit figurer sa signature ou l'entrée digitale. Et la chambre a été mise à l'intérieur des techniques d'assurer le lien audiovisuel entre le prétoire et la signature de son droit. Sans que Nunchir puisse se suivre l'air. And security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and Kim Sung Pong to their respective cell, holding cell rather, and have Mr. Kim Sung Pong return to the courtroom when the next session resumes. Audience is suspended. Some gentlemen.